Oh, there's a fish. There he is. One, two, three. These are the only sandals I could find, so if people think I'm a middle-aged dad, that is not my fault. Let's go catch some fish. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Dennis Feltz. Welcome back to another video. I am fishing the same lake I have been in the last couple of videos, except the difference is today, there's been a huge rainstorm recently. Yesterday night and this morning has been a ton of rain, so I know that today the fishing is going to be absolutely amazing. Bass fishing after a rainstorm is one of the best times you can catch these bass all year. And a couple things to consider when you are bass fishing is one, the rain will bring in a lot of food for them to eat, and it will also increase the oxygen levels. That is why it is so good after a rainfall. And also these bass will be following the levels of water so if the level rises into new flooded areas the bass will follow that into the shallow water and that's where you're gonna want to catch your fish that's where I am right now and let's go catch some bass guys Here we go. he's on wow I just a little guy still a fish though Probably smallest one I've caught so far. <sighs> we all have bad days, guys. We all have bad days. I'm still, I'm never gonna get back from that, how I just lost that monster fish. But you know what? Doesn't matter, all right? Let's not think about how we lost the fish. Let's think about how we're gonna catch the next, like I just said. There we go. Beauty. They seem to be really biting today. Get them back in the water, guys. Why? All right, guys. We're doing good. We're doing good. Nothing. I can't believe I had a. Uh... There we go. There we go. That's a better one. Come on, buddy. Come on, be good. Be free, my little buddy. We just got hit, we just got hit. There we go, he's on. Boom, that's a nice one. Just engulped it. Alrighty, you are free to go, buddy. Oh, there's one. Boom. They're just crushing this thing today, guys. Boom. He's on. Give him a couple seconds and set the hook. Boom, that's how we do it. Oh no, you spit the Senko. Nice, let's get him back in the water. dropped it. Honestly, it's a really small one. I mean, that was a bass. It's a really small one anyway. Just trying not to lose any more of these baits. There's a nice bass right there. That's, he's on. There we go. Man, they're just crushing this thing today. All right, I saw a bass just eat it. There he is. There we go. Beauty. I think it's probably the biggest one all day. Oh, 
Oh, there he is. There he is. Beauty. Whoa, wow. He's got this thing almost all the way swallowed. Let's get the hooker mover and get this thing out. I want to see if I can save my bait with it. There we go. Boom. Oh, there he is. There he is. There we go. Oh, that's a nicer one. This little guy here. I'm gonna grab that hook from over. Boom. Catch a fish in 15 seconds. Cast. Five, four, three, two, one. There's the fish. And there you go, 15 seconds. This ain't no Florida stock pond. This is I haven't recorded like the last 10 because I've been on the phone with my buddy. But uh, yeah, we've been catching more. That's a nice one too. And he flops off right there. Nice. Let's get a head up. There's one. I'm just gonna stand up. It's more fun. Oh, it's a wit. Oh, he's not too little. It's not too little. This would be really fun in an ultralight. At least he didn't spit the hook. All right. Tell your friends to bite. All right. Oh, look at the baby bass. He put half this. He can't fit the whole senko in his mouth. So he's got half it for now. Did he just get the whole thing in his mouth? Yeah, I was gonna say, there's no way you can eat the whole thing. But he tried, at least. I give you credit, buddy, you tried. Like that little three inch bass. Somehow he got the whole thing in his mouth. That's what confuses me. Oh, there we go. Oh, man. Are there just a lot of small ones over here? Because I've been getting, I've been having a fish on every cast. I've been, it's, it's been crazy today. I think a lot of these guys are small. Like they ain't too big, but they're they're aggressive. I mean, what fish won't eat the senko, you know? I mean, what bass, shall I say? Yeah, there's another one too. Let's keep catching them. Fish? Oh, he is. Where is he? It's not a bad one either. I didn't even notice. All right, buddy, be free. All right, let's keep moving, guys. Is that a, I think it's going down pretty fast. I think that's a bass. Yeah, that's a bass. The real question is, what's it worth standing up for? That's why I didn't stand up. Oh, it's not too bad. I don't even know, this is like probably number close to 60. I haven't recorded all of them, of course. Boom, you're f every fish I say you're free to go. I just noticed that. Weird. I think my pole, oh yeah, I just saw a fish grab it. Boom, 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 boom. It's a little head shake thing trying to spit it. It's a nice one. Nice. All right. All right. I know there's larges right over here. Just about spotting them and getting them to want to bite. Oh, there's a dead deer right there. Here comes a bass. He ate it, he ate it. There we go. Wow, he's aggressive. Do a couple jigs. Oh, that's a nice bass right there. Let's see if I can get him on the head. Is there anything on here? There is. Man, I was trying to go for the other bass that was right there. Let's see if I can sell. No, I don't think I'll be able to get him to want to hit. I probably spooked him by throwing him, you know, by catching a bass, of course. 
Let's do another cast. Well, actually, I just caught one out of this hole, but like, knowing bass, they're not the sharpest tools in the shed. I'll easily catch another one while I'm okay. That is, if I don't slip my finger on that. Slip, not slip. Just for fun. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a little bit of funsies. There's got to be some a bass back here. I want to hit this there again. There we go. I just want to go back to the spinner. There we go. Protection. Look at he's pulling the kayak. Oh, look at boom! Hooked, unhooked himself too. Sweet. Oh, there we go. On the whopper popper. Geez, they're gonna hit this top water. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Absolutely smoked the whopper plopper. Just destroyed it. There we go. There's a bass right there, I just tried to hit it. around that log for a little bit boom all righty we're gonna call it a night it is sunset actually past sunset right now and today has been unbelievable i think in total we caught a little over 100 bass okay usually i catch like eight or nine here at best it was crazy absolutely crazy i fished here for five five hours four hours somewhere around there but uh, yeah, it's been crazy, it's been fun, it's been hectic. All I wanna say is, after rainfall and a storm, it's it's such good fishing. I was just fishing and fishing, I even caught them on top water. This time of year, top water is trash. Don't know how I caught them, but I did. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just look forward to more. I post every, every other week or every week. I try to get it every week because I can. And uh, yeah, look for more content. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.